we'll, we'll just talk about the FPO first here. Page dominated. Yeah. Which is somewhat we've come to know. But we did. We were talking to Hannah McBeth yesterday. Uh, and I, I'm not going to steal her thunder because I think she's going to be talking about this on one of her podcast episodes. But um, she did make a great point that I think should be at least addressed is that the field wasn't the full FPO field. Yeah. And we weren't we weren't seeing uh, Evelina. um why can't I think of her name? Oh, Kristen Tatar. Yeah. Uh, Henna, um, as well as like Jennifer Allen, uh, other players like that, that they weren't there. Um, so I think that's a good thing to bring up. But with that being said, Paige what, Pierce is really good. <laughs> yeah, would it have made that much of a difference? On that course, no. When there's distance in play, Paige has proven that she is just going to throw further than everybody yeah. and keep it in the fairways. And. And also, I feel like long putts become a big factor on courses like that. And I mean, we we saw her drop that like ninety footer. Like, oh yeah, that was ridiculous. She she's an insane distance putter. So right now, as far as I'm concerned, you know, Paige is ahead of the field. Yeah. But there, there's the a good news is a lot of the players kind of moving up are young. You know, Paige, you know, has been in the game for a while. I wouldn't say she's reached her peak because I don't think she has. I think no. she's going to re-rate it over a thousand before it's all said and done. Yeah, but you know, there's promise. People just need to get up there because right now Paige is tearing it up. Yeah, and what's what's kind of weird about it too is if you go back a few years, Paige has been dominant, a dominant force for a while. Yeah, but if you go back a few years, Katrina Allen was right up was there. Was right her. there with her. And yeah. rating wise, she's still one of the highest rated women. Nine sixty six is yeah. no no joke. There's nothing to scoff at there, but. Katrina Allen has recently, within the last, I'd say it's within the last year, yeah, fallen off due to nothing but putting. Yeah, because I mean, like what you what you mentioned is true. Like Paige on an open course, she has the distance. Jennifer Allen has distance too. I think Jennifer Allen's distance doesn't really have as much control as Paige's. Yeah, there's not much consistency there. Yeah, um, I think Jennifer Allen could probably throw farther than Paige. Yeah. Um, but she just has more like crush distance, whereas Paige has like controlled. Yeah. Uh, distance, but. Mm-hmm. Cat was the other player that could match her there, True. or at least come close. Yeah, uh, but I mean, I pu- I have Cat's stats pulled up right here, and you know she was doing decent in a lot of stuff like fairways hit. She was second with seventy six percent on That's the weekend. Pretty good for that course. Uh, circle one in regulation, she was also second with forty one percent. Circle two in regulation, also second, sixty seven percent. So she's basically, I would imagine, Paige is the first in all of those. Yeah. So she's basically positioning herself to be in second, right? Birdie percentage was third. Uh, scramble rate six nothing nothing too bad but then circle one putting 44 percent which puts her in 15th out of 15 yeah i mean circle one putting if you're gonna be like i feel like an effective pro it's got to be at least 80 percent and like the top guys and girls are gonna be in the mid to high 90s i feel like in that category yeah it, it um you can't be competing i mean i'm trying to look here 44 percent so, you know, it's going to be hard to tell how many strokes, but she lost by exactly 18. She lost by 18. So over three rounds, 44% putting, that can add up fast. Oh, yeah. So the only thing that I think might have made a slight difference with some of the, like, Finnish players and other top FPO players coming over is Paige might have felt some pressure. Yeah. I think that's the only thing that could have caused some difference. Because if you take their play and Paige's play, Paige still beat them. Yeah. If you look at ratings and stuff like that. Um, but Paige this whole weekend had no pressure. I agree. I feel like she was probably going in there knowing she had it in yeah. the bag and being very confident in that. Yeah.